Police officer charged in connection with a deadly crash involving a pedestrian goes before a judge today in a courtroom packed with fellow officers. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Reckia joins us from Sanford Superior Court with that story. Frank. Eric, Stanford police officer Zachary Lockwood making his very first court appearance today, almost seven months after a deadly crash in which a beloved local pastor was killed. Lockwood, appearing for his arraignment, is facing a Class D felony misconduct with a motor vehicle charge, though the attorney for the victim's family, Darnell Crossland, has asked the charge be upgraded to manslaughter. Court documents say Lockwood was speeding to a minor car accident July 26 when his police vehicle struck and killed Reverend Tommy Jackson outside Jackson's home. Dozens of fellow officers were in the courtroom and later accompanied Lockwood as he left, all including Lockwood, declining to comment. The victim's family in an exclusive interview with News 12 reacting to the big police turnout. It appeared to be an intimidation tactic. Um, it was concerning. It was a complete disregard for um, the victim in this case. The top brass should be reaching out saying, wow, we thought this was just a simple accident, but we see that the behavior of this gentleman was so egregious that we want to let you guys know that we stand with you. We didn't hear that. And the case has been moved to Milford, where Lockwood, who's out on bond, is set to appear on the 22nd of next month. In Stamford, Frank Reckia, News 12, Connecticut.